Um, we've always been a band that's explored uh, doing sort of an acoustic version of songs or um, expressing our music acoustically. But I think these songs, we've, we've been playing them and practicing them um, for uh, the better part of 10 years. I hear a different take on the whole album as opposed to just a song or two you know, being done acoustically. And somewhere along the way someone thought spoke up and said, what if, what if we did a whole album like this, you know, if we reimagined the whole record acoustically? Some things that were new that they can take and say, oh, it's the same song, but, you know, they kind of re, uh, like, re-listen to them in, in a new way. Like, it opens up, like, a whole new chapter of the same book, if that makes any sense. Our acoustic stuff is, is great, uh, sort of time to showcase and, and spotlight the violin, because it, it's really in that register just above the vocals and it really sits nicely with the guitars and is, is one of my favorite things. There's a lot of drumming that I have changed on it, you know, in a good way, I think. And I feel like Ryan's vocals are better than they ever have been. My voice is, is a whole different experience, I think, as a listener now than it was 10 years ago. And I think it's actually more appropriate now, really, for an acoustic record. I don't know that my voice in 2003 would have worked as well on the acoustic version of the record. I think some of the subtleties are, are fans uh, hopefully we'll in enjoy that. For me, um, without all the raging guitars and the di distortion and the overtones sort of that get in the way of the violin, but um, the arrangement of the strings, I think they can come out, you know, in songs like Only One and uh, even a, a small subtle part like the, the Bridge of Breathing. I, I hope that everyone can hear those little layers. It's so cool. I think it's such a huge thing that Sean brings to the table, uh, being in Yellow Card and this is a chance to really hear those strings. You can really hear the arrangements uh, clearly, and, and they really drive a lot of the songs. Um, when we were going through sort of exploring some keyboards and, and synth sounds for some of the songs, we really didn't have to do very much to fill space because there's, the strings are just so prevalent. It's still a band, but it's definitely stripped down, um, but it's definitely a different vibe than just a couple of guitars sort of uh, roots versions of the songs that are on Ocean Avenue, which obviously is a huge part you know, for, for many, many of our fans. And, you know, I'm excited for a lot of things for fans to hear. There's a couple of songs that are completely reinvented. Um, we really explored some new ways to, to, um, to produce the songs. You know that saying, you know, after you play a song for 10 years, you start realizing, oh, maybe I should try this in it. Maybe I should do this. So we all came together and, and put all of those ideas into this. So I think there's a lot of special things on there which I have to leave as a surprise for you to listen to. If we can peel back these layers and then the violin, which is something that I specialize in, uh, you guys can hear some of those, those differences that we're doing. So hopefully you uh, enjoy Ocean Avenue Acoustic.